Hey there. So today I'm just going to show you how to get this fly mini pad up and running. It's my favorite uh, clipper screen combination right now. So the document's not so good. So I found a way to do this much in simpler and let me show you. Here's what you're going to need. The mini pad, duh, an SD card between 16 and 128 gigabytes. Don't go less than 16. Uh, the image will fill up that card, so you won't have storage. Next, we are going to need the um, actual disk image. Uh, you can find that on their website, mellow.clipper.cn. I'll have links to everything in the description. Uh, next, you need a utility to burn that image onto the SD card. So either Win32 Disk Imager or my personal favorite, the Balana Etcher. And again, I'll have a full written guide on how to do this if the video is clear enough. Uh, that'll give you uh, the, um, the possibility to copy paste if you need that. So let's get into, get into it. Step one, insert the SD card into your computer. Open your chosen software for burning, Win32 Disk Imager or Balena Etcher. Select the downloaded image. Then select the target. Make sure you don't select any external drives or anything. Um, maybe unplug drives you're not using to avoid um, using them, but should be close to your uh, SD card's rating. And hit continue and flash. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to be right back when mine is done. So now that the flash is complete, let's unplug and replug the SD card. So simply pull it out and push it back in and it'll give you a warning about formatting. Ignore it. Just uh, hit cancel. Now open your file explorer and let's find the SD card. It should be called boot. So it's right here for me. And we are going to look at two files. Only one of them are needed. The second one is optional. So let's first open this flyOS env file. And I'm opening them in VS Code. You can open these in Notepad if you wish. And we're go just going to edit two lines. So the board line. So let's uh, change that to the fly mini pad, of course. So let's copy that and paste it right there. Next, uh, and to enable the screen, I'm going to get, grab the Fly Mini Pad C because I have the capacitive version. If you have the resistive version, get the dash R version here and paste, paste that in and now save. So let's close that. The second file is optional. You can connect to the Wi-Fi after your mini pad has booted up and do it on screen. I just find it easier to use my keyboard and mouse. So let's open this um, fly OS net file. And again, I'm using VS code. You can open this in notepad. So let's scroll down until we can find the FR net Wi-Fi SSID. And this is where you will input your Wi-Fi name. So you can import your Wi-Fi name here. Remember to keep the apostrophes. Um, so only edit the text. Next, jump down to this line and enter your area code. There is a link if we scroll to the right uh, where you can find your uh, country's uh, code. So I'm going to do that off screen and then I'll show you the next step. So after you've uh, saved that file, close it. And then in the, your file explorer, let's rename this file and remove that dot template suffix. So that's only called dot txt. And that's it. Next, we're going to unplug the SD card and plug it into our mini pad. So let's plug that into our pad. Let's feed it some just USB-C power for now. And then give this about three to four minutes and it should be all booted up. And now we have Clipper screen installed and we are ready to use this. Now to find your IP, simply navigate to the 
menu button and then go to network and you should be connected to your Wi-Fi and at the very top right there is your IP address so that should be all you need to know but let me show you a little trick that this guy has so if we enter that IP address that we found on the screen into a any web browser we can get to the fluid uh, front end for Clipper and not everyone likes fluid and to on the mini pad it's super easy to fix simply edit that address at a colon and four nines this will open up the fly tools that's pre-installed this is a really good piece of software that lets you get all your serial devices so you don't have to ssh into your device and get the buy serial slash id slash thing uh, it'll give you everything right here second we can go into system settings and simply change what we want this to be. So this is a fly mini pad. I can change my time zone if I want to. I can change the rotation of the screen. And uh, most importantly, I can change from fluid to mainsail and then do a save. And it's good. So now if I go back, remove the, all those 9999s I get into mainsail so there you have it the fly mini pad it's probably my favorite right now and have fun using it if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button if you didn't hit that thumbs down button and subscribe it does help me to make more videos like this so see ya